All right, gents, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. I want to welcome you all back. You know the deal. If you like the videos, click subscribe. Click the little chime button so that uh, you can get all the notifications when a new video comes out every Friday. All right, I just uh, grilled the film crew a couple of steaks. We've been out shooting guns on the range, so it's been a great day. FLIR has given me a ton of night vision equipment to play with. I've got thermals, I've got monoculars, I've got Gen 3s, I've got Gen 3 ghost white phosphors. You name it, I've got this, I've got that. So we're going to take the film crew out tonight and uh, we're going to go shoot us some, uh, some good night vision video. One of my favorite things to do under night vision is go driving. We're going to get out in the Jeep and... Uh, we're going to rock some good night vision on helmets, uh, the other head mounts and stuff, and uh, we're going to get out and we're going to go driving. Now, you can't do that with a thermal. Now, FLIR's got this sexy little handheld thermal called the Breach, and it is awesome. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to keep it in my little bug out bag. It's, it's sexy. But uh, contrary to what you see in the movies, thermals don't look through walls. As a matter of fact, thermals don't look through glass. It ref that glass reflects the heat back. All you're going to see is... It's like a mirror, that windshield of the vehicle, you're going to see what's inside the car. So if you want to drive wearing night vision, or right, if you want to look through windows, uh, observe from inside of a building, you're going to have to go old school on the night vision. Now, when I say old school, I mean not thermal. I mean use the regular Gen 2, Gen 3 type stuff. Now, the newest one that they've got out, this is called the MNVD. Now, monocular night vision device mnvd now the cool part what makes this one newer better this year car well i appreciate you asking first off this puppy's got a 51 degree field of view so what it's a big deal if because up to now all of them had a 40 degree field of view now picture coming into that room you've, you've got your uh, lasers mounted on your gun you've got your helmet on body armor you're coming in as you're sweeping the room with your night vision everybody else in the room has got 40 degree field of view about the time that bad guy sitting right here i can't see him until i get to right here but if i have a wider 51 degree field of view now, as I'm swinging it, I'm already picking him up. So having that wider field of view, it's not just about being able to uh, see further. It doesn't help you see further, but it allows you to see more. Uh, again, it's still a monocular. You're not catching your whole normal field of view, but it is wider. 51 degrees, that's a big step up over 40 degrees. So anyway, I love that about it. Um, compared to the old PVS 14s we used to rock in the military, everything is the same. It's still user friendly. Um, diopter focus for your eye on the back focus up front for your normal uh, uh, your normal focus all right counterclockwise for far away target uh, clockwise for uh, zooming in close for like reading maps and doing things like that now what I really like about this thing is the on off switch you're not having to pull out go one click and then do I go another click in this direction do I go click in that direction and accidentally turn it back off no you got one knob up on the front. That's your manual gain knob. So you can dim it, brighten it, depending on how much light's out there. That comes in handy when you've got like street lights out there that are blooming out your scope, right? But you ought to turn it on off, push in on that button. It's a knob, it turns left to right, but just push in on that button, it's gonna turn off. Push it again, turns back on. There's no delay, there's no having to go back in this direction or that direction. Click it, goes on. Click it again, it turns off again. That easy. Now, IR Illuminator. Your IR Illuminator is, it's a, it's a little button on the side. Right? It's not an on-off switch. Just if you need to illuminate, push, and hold, uh, push it and it'll turn on. And you can see your IR Illuminator up here. There's actually a little swing arm, a uh, little lens, just like the old PVS 14s and the 7s, that will go from a tight beam of light you throw that little lens over it and that just diffuses it to allow you to uh, have more IR light spread throughout the room. A little better indoors. That's the same as you've been rocking on PVS uh, 14s forever. Easy knob to use. Helmet mount up on top, helmet mount on the bottom so that no matter which eye you put it on, on your helmet, 
you can get the battery box out of your way to the outside. All right, demister shields, um, sacrificial lenses on the front. They're, they're, they're all the same stuff that uh, all the old military guys are used to having on the 7s and the 14s. One thing that is new, all right, it's been out for a little while, but it is featured on this one. You remember the old crappy little battery boxes you had on those previous 14s? Two AA batteries, the mount would break or you'd lose it in the bottom of your rucksack. I could not stand those battery boxes. This thing right here, single battery, screw, uh, screw the cap off, and it is a CR123. How about if you're out of CR123s? How about if uh, you're in the middle of, uh, let's say you're outside the US in like Ethiopia or, or California, you can't find a CR123 battery, what can you use? Well, the, the cool part is this cap, that you see how it's flush, short battery, short battery, it's flush. You can unscrew the insert in this cap, screw it out, turn it around, and now that whole cap is hollow. And now I can drop a, uh, I can drop a AA battery in there. Where can you find a AA battery on the planet? Everywhere. What does that do? Now the AA batteries, they're supposed to last almost as long as the CR123s. Uh, I have, that's not what I'm finding. What I'm finding is the CR123s last longer. That said, I haven't been able to find rechargeable CR123s worth a damn. I can get rechargeable AA batteries all day long. So choice for me, this works awesome because in my get home bag, I can carry a little AA battery charger that runs off of a solar panel all day long. I can be charging up some rechargeable AA batteries, toss them in my night vision, and now I'm good to go till the sun comes up again where I can charge some more batteries. So anyways, great, great feature. The tubes in this, you can, uh, depending on your budget, get what you can afford. You can get Gen 2, you can get Gen 3, you can get the, the Gen 3 uh, Ghost White Phosphor. That's where it looks black and white, different shades of gray. It's not that it illuminates better than the green, it's just a, it's a little different on your eye. Some people pr prefer it one way or the other. Some of the other things you can do with it, it, it comes standard with a, a weapons mount. So you can actually put this thing on your gun, have it mounted behind that day optic that uh that eotech or that aim point and you haven't thrown off the zero of the gun you can put this behind that three gun uh, scope on your uh your, your one to six a variable power scope on your rifle and now you've got night vision again you got to let your stock out a little bit more but we've got adjustable stocks on our guns now so it clips right to the rail now you've got a weapon mounted, uh, you've got weapon mounted night vision. Okay, toss it back out. For me, I like it handheld. You don't like carrying around a helmet with you? Obviously not, nobody does. Uh, one of the things I like is, I'll see if I got one in here. Wilcox makes a sexy little head net. Same, uh, same thing, my normal helmet mount actually locks right into the front of this. And now I'm not having to wear a heavy, bulky helmet while I'm out uh, driving. I gotta throw that disclaimer in there. Only do this on a closed track, uh, surrounded by supervised professionals or out back roads of Kentucky. All right, so anyways, driving with this thing's awesome. Hooking it onto the helmet. Easy stuff, guys. That's it, done. Now, I've got it over my left eye right now that allows me to run, uh, keep my right eye for using the optics on my pistol, uh, optics on my rifle. All right. Um, you can adjust it in and out. This is a good Wilcox mount. They make other cheaper helmet mounts. If you're gonna, if you're gonna spend the money on something, gents, always try to get the best kit you can. And when it comes to mounts, you're not gonna beat the Wilcox. So anyways, this is the, um, MNVD by FLIR, monocular night vision device. It's awesome. I think it's a home run. Um, where you're going to see it a lot is I'm going to pull off this eye cup and uh, you can jump on Amazon and you can buy sexy cell phone mounts, GoPro mounts, and I'm going to mount this thing on this night, division, night vision device. And uh, we're, we're going to film a bunch of uh, little scenes with it. 
great for checking out the observe those deer those big bucks uh, before opening day so that you can see how big those antlers are coming while you're out spotting it's great for law enforcement officers that are out uh, checking out the area or keeping tabs on the property that they're responsible for anyways um monocular night vision device mnvd by flare good piece of kit uh you're going to see me using it in more and more videos Questions and comments, uh, be sure to leave them below. I'll see you next time. Take care. Shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.